You know what these are? These are called dowsing rods. Some people know them as divining rods or witching rods. They're pretty much commonly used to try to locate water underground. But there is a forensic anthropologist, his name is Dr. Arpad Voss, and he claims that you could use these rods to locate unmarked graves. Dr. Voss, you had testified about your ability to find clandestine graves. Do you, do you know what divining rods are, sir? Yes. Okay. And could you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what divining rods are? Uh, divining rods are antenna used to locate specific properties of specific materials. And can a divining rod be made of a coat hanger from a dry cleaner? Sure. As long as it's the right material, yes. And have you taught on this subject to use coat hangers to find hidden graves? Absolutely. It's a, it's a, it's a hobby of mine, just like stamp collecting, coin collecting, and it teaches wonderful scientific principles. There I have them right here, so I keep them right, yeah. So, <laughs> so you have your own set of dowsing rods. So oh, I've got me, several sets, yeah. So how do you explain this without sounding like a complete moron? It's really simple. I mean, this is about electromagnetism. That's all it is. Bones have a property, which is called piezoelectricity. You can look it up on Wikipedia. It's there. And basically, when a bone is open and it's under pressure, it generates an electric field. And with an electric field, it generates magnetism. With magnetism, it also generates a resonance frequency. And that's all we're doing, is trying to find it with electromagnetism. That's all this is. <laughs> this is steel. Steel is reactive to electromagnets. So that's, it's magnet, you know, it reacts to magnetism and that's what we use it for. That's all it is. It's not some kind of big hooky pooky witching sticks. You know, we're not doing seances at night trying to get these things to work or anything like that. We don't do that. This is just strictly electromagnetism. That's all it is. Yeah. But you are co perfectly comfortable using the dowsing rods to zero in on the grave shaft is what you're yep. saying. So Absolutely. it's more of a precision tool. In, in right. It's getting us closer. And even then, sometimes it, it, it's, it doesn't because the body has spread out or parts of it has spread out. You'll find these things will get you around it, but maybe not right to it because they're and, that sensitive that they do that. And usually the way we know it is when we get on top of it, this piece here will start spinning in a 360 like that. When you're on top of the body, it'll just start spinning because the electric, it doesn't know which way to point. So it's just trying to point at everything. <laughs> so how come uh, would you, you have bones? I mean, I'm not trying yeah. to be ignorant, but you have bones. Why isn't it pointing at you? You know what I mean? Because it's covered with flesh. Ah. Oh. Once the flesh goes away, the bone's exposed. And the bone is, it, once the bone's exposed, then that's when the piezoelectric resonance frequency takes effect. That's but I mean, point. it's covered in dirt. Wouldn't yeah, the, dirt... the dirt's adding pressure. Do you use it all the time, like every time I, you're out there? I used it yesterday and found three historical cemeteries yesterday with wow. these. So it works like a charm. Like, is, are, are there times that it doesn't Well, work? there's times, you know, it's going to point to anything that's giving off a magnetic signature, right? Bones is not the only thing that's out there that's going to give a signature. There could be other things that's happening. And so it's, is it 100% reliable? No. But nothing in this world is 100% reliable. Cadaver dogs are not 100% reliable. Ground penetrating radar is not 100% reliable. You know, photo imagery is not 100% reliable. Now, I'm not going to use these rods today to look for dead bodies, but I am going to use them to try to locate a body of water. Let's see if it works. All right, the way you use these is that you hold them parallel to each other, and if they cross, you hit a body of water. Now, it's pointing this way. And I don't think there's water this way. That's a house. But over here, there is a creek. Let's see how well it does. Will it locate the water? Sure enough, it did. Now I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk right back to the creek slowly and see if they cross. <laughs> sure enough. And now I'm not making these cross. These, see, these things have a straw, so I shouldn't be able to manipulate these rods. But right now they're crossing. 
but you see what's happening is is called the odometer effect if you want to learn more about dr arpad vas and finding human remains with dowsing rods check out my new series the grave detector on the pretend podcast part one is available right now